sailboat down there at the ocean. Of course, you can't see it, but I can. All right, Lord, keep me safe, keep me sound, no incidents, no accidents, no reminders. Keep me upright on two wheels and get me home just like I am right now. Amen. See how it works? I do that every single time. What's up, everybody? Let's go down the hill, okay? Yeah. Driving down the hill right now. Hopefully not too fast. I want to go fast, but I should not drive too fast. Too fast is bad. Whee! My tires aren't really warmed up for this, though. And I do not like going fast around the first corner. Always too much debris here. Always worries me. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a little concern. Keeps you safe when you're concerned. But don't doubt yourself. That makes that makes it worse. Be confident. Confident. Confidence is good. Oh, I got something in my eye. How do I get that out? I guess I don't. And I don't like going fast around these corners. <laughs> There's always stuff on these roads. I don't like it. I mean, I shouldn't be going real fast anyway, but I'm not going that fast, but I'm going faster than just your daily daily out for a cruise, you know? But, this is a good speed. I'm holding the clutch, cruising down the hill, put it in the third, let go of the clutch, bike is slowing down by itself. Now I'm in third, I think. Could be second, actually. So you don't even have to touch the back brake. And I do that because I learned when I go down big steep hills for a long time and I hit the brake all the time. Yeah, I centered my brakes and it actually cracked my uh, rotor. So I learned my lesson to, to use the gears to slow down and actually the uh, manual says to do that. It says you can do that. It doesn't say you must do that. But the front brakes on this guy work really well. It's a dual brake setup, but the back is just a single disc, single side. It's the same size brake pads for the front and back. They're a different part number, but they're physically the same size. But anyway. But you can't use front brakes going down corners. That's when you're at really asking for trouble. You want to be on the ground real fast? Hit the front brake. Hit the front brake going straight or turning, and you'll be on the ground real fast if you don't know what you're doing. When you're going straight, you can use the front brake real nice, but not when you're going uh, around corners, though. So. Luckily, uh, you know, riding the dirt bike for a little bit I got really boosts your confidence, but riding dirt and riding street are two completely different things, and you have to respect that. Riding in the dirt's fun, though. I'm getting used to riding that electric dirt bike, though. Got a little wild with it. I got a video about it. Maybe I should just include it in this. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's finish going down the hill here and then I'll just play the rest of that video for the rest of that video. Not a two in one for you guys. Two in one. See, like here is always crap. Do not like it at all. Tell you what though, for what this bike is, this is 2007, carbureted, dual carbureted V-twin, 650 cc's, it's like 6, whatever, 49 or something, but, but the bike itself is, I think, I'm probably going to get this wrong. 
so don't quote me, but I think it's around 600 pounds. So it's a pretty light power to weight ratio. And um, it really goes for what it is. It's like perfect for a guy like me who every once in a while just when it gets on that throttle just to feel it, but it's not too much where, uh, you know, it's not some super moto, <laughs> but, um, or GT motos, whatever they are. But uh, the good thing is, yeah, that's some rocks. So the good thing is, um, or the interesting thing is, is that if you look at the manual, it says, don't pull the throttle too hard because the front wheel will come off the ground. And if you're in first gear and you, if you get it on the throttle, yeah, I bet you it would lift the front end of this guy up. Ah, gears. All right, well, I'll let you guys jump on over to the, the dirt bike video. It is a lot of fun. All right, enjoy. Oh, welcome back to the Zero, guys. I don't know what your camera angle looks like. I don't know what the audio sounds like. But we're going to go play in those clouds over there. And I'm going to go look for my pocket knife. Because apparently it fell off while I was riding. Huh. All right. Talk about fast. That's fast. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's put this on zero to 25. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I actually think I saw my knife up there. I saw something shiny. Yeah, maybe not. There was a deer down the hill earlier. Got a little bit wild. <laughs> I gotta get this thing to go straight. There we go.
that front tire did, man. That one just ate it right there. Oh, I'm getting tired. Ah. Okay. Now I'm gonna go look for my knife in the clouds. Ah. Feel that deer is still down here. Couple lizards. Ah. Woo! Yeah. That is tiring. Holy moly. That was my hand. All right, ready to go back up? Here we go. Let those big rocks stop you. Okay, I think that's enough enduro for the day. Oh my gosh, and I'm only in the low, the low speed setting. I came down in the high speed setting. Wow, okay, now I'm gonna go try to find my knife. Huh.
So, uh, for those of you who are new to this, I'm in the Santa Monica National Mountains, playing around on a original zero motorcycle. This thing is uh, one of the prototype versions, and uh, it's pretty old. It's like six years old. And yeah, just out for a, a daily drive, trying to use up some of the battery on this thing. If you can't tell, it's only used one battery indicator, and I've been out here for probably 45 minutes already before I started filming. But I lost my pocket knife in the process, and uh, I'd like to find it. Oh! Got to be here somewhere. Africa. I don't see it. Oh. So I usually always wear gloves. Today I decided not to. That really hurts. Ah. Oh. Oh yeah, it feels good. Ow! Next time I will put my gloves back on. I mean, if it's in here somewhere, it's going to be really hard to find. This is like a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, slow is really hard to go up. We're gonna have to go fast, kids. I'm digging myself a hole right now. I've dug myself a nice little hole. Kind of wild, but yeah, these really hurt. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I'm pretty sure my pocket knife's down here somewhere. Oh well. Ready? No good. Here. We're gonna try to book it. You ready? I'm actually gonna put this on the slow speed. Oh. That's the first time all day I fell. That's not bad. Alright, 
see you guys later. Guess I lost my pocket knife. And these things really hurt. Let's go get those cleaned up. They'll heal. Peace out. It's in my book bag I'm listening to one year of music. Oh my gosh. Now that's funny. That is actually funny. That's why I have it in my pocket. You can tell, right? You know, it's in your pocket. You know it's there, but when it's not, it's not. Uh, I'll slow down a little bit. I'm starting to catch up with the traffic. I like being ahead of everybody with nobody in front of me. I don't know I can go whatever speed I want. Sometimes I like to go slow. Sometimes I like to go a little fast. And up at the top of this hill, I like to go about this fast, hold the clutch, and just cruise down the hill. And when there's people behind you or in front of you, they don't like that. Well, when there's people in front of you, you gotta slow down with the brake or use the gears, but when people are behind you, they're always pushing you, because I like going slow over the top of that. Put it in fifth gear. Reliable carriers with giant orange truck. Oh, there's no way turning. Yay, because I don't like it when they are. It always freaks me out. Coming around that corner. See, so I've been holding the clutch the whole time, but I'm catching up to those cars. You really get some speed down that hill that hill right there is where I hit maximum top speed on my moped 62 miles an hour <laughs> oh my gosh you talk about scary you're on a two-wheeled thing okay and the tires are two and a half inches wide but what's touching the ground is like an inch or something okay and you're going faster than I am right now by a lot by like another almost 10 miles an hour down that hill around that corner it's it's intense just put it that way and the, uh, don't 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 come on we do it and then that guy's always hard to see when they're pulling out of there the sun's always in their eyes and it's very hard to see but yeah I do enjoy uh, riding this thing in, in low gear it really goes oh, people freak me out that guy's on his phone turning with his son in his eyes it's the kind of crap that really messes with you or you guy like me on two wheels when you're in a car it's a different story but when you're on two wheels with nothing really in front of you it's some scary crap Well, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that crazy nonsense. A little wild, I know, but it is a lot of fun. I really had a lot of fun with that thing. But, uh, anyway. Man, I forgot what I was going to say. I mean, they were supposed to be words that were going to come out of my mouth. They were going to make sense. You were probably going to like them, but I... I don't remember what they were. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I won't say him. Cool. What's this? Frisbee? It's a frisbee Are you being good, Dexter? You usually don't give me a hug. Usually it means you're in trouble. Are you sure you're being good? 
Alright, I love you. Hi, Malachi! Yeah, you're getting puzzles out? Which you're probably not supposed to get into the puzzles. Mommy's helping put puzzles away because they already got into puzzles. I understand now. Ooh, a cookie. Huh. I gotta go get undressed, kid. Hey! I'm just giving you a hug. Cause I love you. Thanks for giving me a hug, big girl. I'm gonna go get undressed now. Let's go see those crazy kids, want to? I do like those crazy kids. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's go see who's in here. Oh, get on there. Oh, there they are. Hi. Oh, there's one hug for me. Thank you. I love your face. I love your fi- Oh, look at it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love your body. Hi, Lily. What is- Oh, wow. Neat. Don't drop it on your foot. You're gonna hurt yourself. That would be ouchy, right? Oh, hi, Malachi. How are you feeling? Hello, Aiden. Hi, Malachi. Are you feeling okay? Let me see your face. Oh, look at this face. Oh, look at it. Look at this face. I love this face. Okay. You want kisses? No. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I know. Would you have fun? I gotta go get undressed. I'm hot. What'd you do? Two hours? Well, I bet that's fine. It's not too long. Hi, Dexter. Hi Dexter. Hi Dexter. Let me see how you're feeling. Let me see how you're feeling. Feeling okay? Let me see this. Let me see this. How about you? Let me see how you're feeling. Oh man. Look at this face. Look at this face. I like I'm just touching faces. What? I already did you. How you doing? I don't want to do Aiden. Aiden's Aiden's not mine. I don't want to squash that face. I'm gonna go take my stuff off, okay? I'm hot. Let me take my stuff off. And then I will. I will tuckle you until you poop. You want me to do that? No. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Do it now. Do it now, Daddy. Good one. Hi, Malachi. So cute. 